Portage La Prairie City Councilors heard from concerned residents on Monday regarding the proposed medicinal marijuana facility that is expected to open in the area earlier this year. We, there is no one coming to our building. Once we're up and running, um, there is no storefront. You can't just come and get your, your prescription from us. Everything is shipped out of our building. There's no direct contact with anybody. There's no one coming to our building. It is just the mere staff. Because it's not a matter of if crime's going to happen, it's when it's going to happen. And we're very concerned about that. We're very concerned about the old people that can't get around very well with, if things start happening, and the women and the children that are involved with it. Yeah, I think it has the potential to become a uh, target for break and enters uh, because it's got a high value product. But I also believe that'll be uh, uh, one of the more secure uh, businesses in town because just like a bank or some other high value business, uh, I know that they're going, uh, uh, or I, I feel very confident that they would want to protect their investment and uh, they're going to take the measures necessary uh, to uh, make it secure and uh, I'm certain that will include, you've mentioned lights, fences, uh, I have no doubt alarm systems uh, will be uh, installed right. as well. In the end, Council voted unanimously in favor of Medicinal Manitoba Green. Well, I kind of think it was railroaded through, I guess. We were well, railroaded, basically. Not much else we can do about it. And this is on our doorstep, not theirs. Yeah. Well, even know? the police chief said it was a target, so... Well, I will tell you this, Council did listen, I think, very intently to all sides. Uh, Council did make a change. Uh, one of the... Um, one of the concerns mentioned was the unpaved parking lot. Uh, the permission to have an unpaved parking lot has been de denied by council. So that's one change that's been made uh, that the petitioners asked for. Um, I think council felt that um, you know the, the concerns on security and uh, safety issues and those kind of things had been addressed by the uh, by the corporations.